What's up you guys? Welcome to my vlogging channel. I know it's been a while since I posted last. Uh, well, I did post a funny video workout video on me and my kid. I'm sitting in my office. If you can see the map over there, this is where I teach um, English online. Ever since we've been in this new house, and it's only been two years, um, I've realized how much stuff I've accumulated, and it's only been two years since we has, we lived we have been living in this house so uh i can imagine if it's gonna be more so um i have some tips and ideas that you guys can use um to um to go around the house and find things that you don't use anymore things that are not useful things that are not being um how to say they're not purposeful like you know they just sitting there taking space. Oh God, my neighbor, he needs to grow up. So things that you don't use anymore and are just sitting there in your closet, in your house, in your garage, but they need to be tossed. But things that um, really no one is going to find them useful and I'm not saying you know clothes that you don't wear because you know those you shouldn't throw away you should find a donation center and just send them in you know um, goodwill or whatever you have close and um, but I'm talking about things that you really don't use you know um, and it could be makeup clothes it could be expired stuff it could be food it could be anything um the best way to keep your house decluttered is to play the clutter cop it basically means that you are a cop in your own house you know you're going out there looking for the bad guys but in this case you're looking for stuff to throw away that are not being used or useful and you can go like once a week or once a month um, i think once a month would be good um instead of waiting six months to a year um once a month is really good because if you wait too long then you're going to be overwhelmed and you're not going to want to start decluttering your house so take two bags or three and go around the house and do the detective work um detecting looking for things that uh shouldn't be there that you should be throwing away so in one bag you can put things that uh you want to donate and the other bag you can throw in the things that are not being used they are never being used or they will never be used again and then you have the stuff that stuff that just need organization and sometimes you will be surprised at what you will find in your own house that it might that it might even have value that you could actually have a yard sale you could even have money hiding there and you don't even know so go around your house do the cop the detective job and find out what's hiding in there and at the same time you're decluttering your own house so number one to toss old clothes and not to toss okay number one um old clothes you don't wear them you know you probably outgrown them or like outgrown them height wise or weight wise <laughs> just put them in the bag if they if someone else can use them then send them to your local charity uh center or something if no one can use them toss them throw them in the garbage number two mugs this is what i'm guilty of because i love mugs and i kind of collect them a lot <laughs> if i see something like if i see a mug that has a nice saying um i just want to buy it and and i keep buying and keep buying and i'm like i probably use two or three that are my favorite the rest are just sitting there so <laughs> throw them away but I'm again I'm not saying not throw them away. If you have a broken one, let's say, you know, I think I have one from my university. Um and it has a broken handle. I keep it there because it's just nostalgic. Uh it just makes me remember my days in college and I could easily go back and get another one or order online, but it's just sitting there, but I definitely should throw that away. Um but mugs that you are not going to use or you know there's just too many like if you have 20 30 that's just too much 
you know you can give them to your family members or friends or again throw them in a box in a bag where you can donate them i'm pretty sure somebody will find them useful number three expired food okay so food that might just be sitting there um this i go through a lot because i don't like having food that's expired you know you don't want bugs or any smell any any contaminated food because it will contaminate the other food especially food in the fridge where your veggies are um food that's all piled on top of each other meats go through your fridge go through your pantry um if you have foods that may not even be expired there's just way too many there donate them again uh somebody will find them useful number four cable cords okay <laughs> this i'm pretty sure every house has issues with this i have made a separate bin above we have a, a shoe closet so on top so in the shoe closet you put the shoes downstairs the, in the bottom and then in, in the middle we you have a rack i mean you have a rod where you hang your coats like the coats that you wear right away like during the day um and then on top there's a shelf and i made i put two bins i went to the dollar tree i put two bins one for um cables and one for a daily use stuff that you need right away and then one for heavy duty but daily use heavy duty stuff like let's say you need a hammer right away or something scissors extra scissors or or uh, tape it's separated in that bin but one bin has cables so sometimes uh, let's say you have a broken radio or, or broken stereo or a broken um playstation or something and you throw that piece of junk away but then you forgot to throw away your cords so what do you do you know you got to go through your bins through all the, those cords because i'm pretty sure they're just sitting there so throw that away too you know um but if you could reuse it reuse it but i'm pretty sure um most of them do they just sit there and they're tied and then you get frustrated when you go to find something um so have a separate bin go through it and that that goes for everything you know not just cables um number five shoes so um i used to really be obsessed in buying a lot of shoes i haven't bought shoes in quite some time um but even if i did i would buy like maybe in the last two years now just buy like a pair or two sneakers a pair or two to go out and then for winter and that's it um but before especially when i was um Working as a teacher, I, I like to dress well and I like to have different pair of shoes with different outfits, but I accumulated way too many. And the thing is, I probably just used a few of them that were my favorite or that my feet felt comfortable with. And the rest were just sitting there <laughs> taking space, basically. And this issue my husband has too, so... Um, but he does donate a lot of his sneakers because he likes sneakers a lot. But he donates them a lot. So go through them. You know, you might even have shoes that's once missing. One is gone somewhere, broken. And you're just keeping them there. Um, again, find a, a, a bin separate or a separate bag. And take them to your local um, charity center. And I'm sure that somebody will, you know, buy them and find them useful. Number six, um, makeup. Makeup. I probably have a lot, like a lot. And I think I, I'm always saying I don't have enough because I just, I like to buy makeup. The thing that comes out, I want to buy it. And I don't really wear it that much, but um, when I do, I like to have the good one, you know. And, um, but it's good to go through because some makeup could be expired so it's good to go through them uh, and throw away what's really expired and then um declutter and you know give some to your family members um i have at least i don't know maybe like 20 pounds worth of a bag that's full of makeup that i'm sending to my sister number seven the mail rack so we have a mail rack it's 
right there, you know, behind the kitchen. Um, I just went through it like, if I find a picture, I think I have a picture. I'm gonna insert it some way here. It took me about two hours to go through that. It's a tiny, tiny rack, but it's like a, a bin. Yeah, it's a bin. And we've been piling mail all, all these months, probably all summer. Just did not go through them. And most of the mail is my husband's mail. You know, there's like places and there's churches and ministries that he donates money and then they send paper. They send like, you know, DVDs, they send CDs, they send you a little gift mail and it just piles up and then there's bills and then there's like uh, companies you know who send you like magazines or something you know buy here buy there so it gets accumulated if you don't go right away if you don't tear it out um, now i'm doing it but before i would just leave it there because i didn't want him to think i'm gonna open his mail and sometimes he didn't even check his mail you know so it would just stay there and stay there. So one night, it took me about two hours, I stood and I went through all of them and I was like, oh my God, that's a lot of stuff. And some, I was like, there's no need to keep it. You know, some bills you have to keep uh, for record or whatever you might need. Some you really don't, most of them you don't. Just tear it nicely nice, don't, you know, and just throw it in the garbage. And that's what I did. And I was like, oh my God, this took me two hours. So find out things that go, that are in your house that you could toss, that you could donate, you could give to your family members. Uh, and then you might have stuff that you just need to throw away. So find out, go around your house, um, be the, the detective uh, in your own house. And you might even be surprised if sometimes when I do laundry or, you know, go through, um, when I declutter, I find money. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I'm rich now. So you could do that and um, keep your house decluttered, you know, and it will help you. But it has to be consistent. If you do it, I think once or twice a month, um, it will help you keep your house decluttered. Um, but if you wait six months a year, and then it's gonna be so overwhelming, you're gonna have to hire someone to go through your junk into your stuff and then it's worse you know um but this way if you keep doing it every day i mean every month um you have less le less clutter in your life i hope you guys enjoyed this video um in my new office <laughs> um i'm also going to i'm also working behind this camera i'm working on the wall that I'm going to use as a backdrop for my main channel and sometimes for this channel. Um, but also, but from here, I'm gonna be showing you guys mostly now on um, a lot of photography, um, one-on-one -on -one tips and tricks and ideas. Um, I've been really busy this month. Hopefully I can be more active on this channel, you know. I will see you guys later. All right, bye-bye.